What is going on my broskies, my name is Toadskin, I'm back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video And in today's video guys, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to beat Mr. Seven and his Father's Day Chaos Difficulty Coliseum Now, when this actually was announced during the week, I was really really busy and I was able to provide you guys with a guide for Wiper and Hawkins But I was unfortunately unable to bring you guys a guide for Mr. Seven and his Father's Day So, in today's video, whenever we go through it, I will try and suggest a free to play team if uh, if I do not, you know, use one in the actual video itself. Um, but overall, guys, if you guys want to stay up to date with all of the Colosseum playthrough videos, there will be a link to the playlist in the description down below. But without further ado, guys, let's get straight into the video. For the first round, we are coming up against Igarapapa, or uh, Igaram, whatever he's called. And this guy here is actually reasonably easy. He does have the same defense shield that Kumidori does in the Wiper Coliseum. So I am using literally, or not literally, but pretty much the exact same team. Uh, I am bringing Coliseum Smoker this time, but literally you can just bring your most powerful, uh, you know, int team with a 2.5 times leader if you guys do have one. Uh, or just a 2 times leader, really. If you have the Coliseum Smoker, he actually wouldn't be too bad if you have some, uh, some int striker characters. And just make sure if you bring a Rayleigh friend, it actually works out a little bit better um, because Rayleigh actually gives you a little bit more damage output when uh, when you actually hit all your perfects. But all I'm doing here is trying to look for some really good matching orbs. Then I can go ahead and use my Aokiji, which will boost my strikers by 1.75 for two turns and lock all my orbs for two turns. And basically just go ham with, uh, with all my attacks. I do have Colosseum Smoker there if I do want to get that orb boost. And uh, pretty much just try and attack him with my burst, you know, with the orb boost from Smoker, with the type boost from our Kiji, and I'm just using all my specials to do as much damage as possible. But overall, it's actually really, really simple. You don't have to do too much, uh, but you just got to make sure you bring a lot of int characters because of that defense shield. It will reduce all damage except for int damage. So highly recommend to bring a full team of int characters, and I'll see you guys at round two. Moving on to round two, we have the Unluckies, which are also a part of the Baroque Works. Now, these guys here, they'll have a, an immunity or a debuff protector uh, put on them as a preemptive attack. And what they do is, is that they just have a countdown. Uh, they go from three down to zero. And I believe when they get down to zero, they do lots and lots of damage. But a really good team that would work for this is a Garp and a friend, Strong World Shanks. And then just bring Mr. Two, who will uh, convert orbs to uh, your recovery orbs to Psy. So you use the Garp, the Mr. Two. And then you can bring a type booster, like either Impact, Usopp, or the Storm mode NL and then Kobe as well that team will work just fine in taking out uh, the unluckies but I just decided to use a strong one Shanks team because it is a little overkill it's always fun to use Shanks but I'll see you guys over at round number three So before reaching the actual boss stage on round number three, we actually go ahead and use the Dex Zombie Special before we actually reach the final boss stage. And the reason why we do that is because that means we don't get Miss Golden Week's attack debuff put on our team because we already have an attack debuff. And after Miss Golden Week's preemptive attack, our debuff will actually go away. So I would highly recommend that strategy to bring these green zombie knights because it just makes it so you do not actually receive the debuff from Miss Golden Week. It's so, so good. And any team that would work for this is just a really powerful strength team, uh, you know, you use a friend log Luffy with a really powerful strength team, it will work just as fine, obviously double gear 3 works as well, um, and if you have golden pound it does help out as well, but you don't actually need to bring golden pound as you'll see in this video, I just do so much damage because we don't have that attack debuff, but overall a really really simple stage if you do have the green dex zombie character, really really useful in this stage of the Colosseum. Round 4 of the Mr. 7 Chaos Difficulty Coliseum is Miss Monday. Now, Miss Monday is a strength character, so obviously a double NL team is going to be the way to go for any strength or most strength Coliseums you want to go ahead and use double NRU because it's just so safe and it does a lot of damage. So, uh, you can see how I am using, you know, the combo with Luchi and Legend Dofi. You don't need to use that combo, obviously, like Thatch and Kaku works, or you can just farm for some good orbs uh, in the previous stages before you actually reach Miss Monday herself because you do have that healing with NL, so you can just store a lot of the time anyways, but overall, uh, it's really, really simple if you do have just an NL team and really, really powerful, quick units. Yeah. 
And now we reach round five, stage four, because we have to actually take on Miss Monday once again. Now you can see the team that I'm using is a double Mihawk team, and the subunits I do have Brook, Doflamingo, and Crocodile, as well as Golden Pound Usopp, who does help out. Now the way that this team works is you want to go ahead and use your Mihawk and your Doflamingo on this stage. Now the reason why we use Doflamingo on this stage is because the final room, Miss Seven, uh, Mr. Seven, and Miss Father's Day, will actually input an orb boost on your team, so you can't actually use Doflamingo any. Anyway, so I just use Doflamingo on this room here against Ms. Monday uh, and do as much damage as I possibly can. We do actually have to take a hit from Ms. Monday, but that's why we have Brook. Brook is a really good quick slasher as well as his special will recover about 4,000 HP. So after you take the hit from Ms. Monday, you can recover some HP back, which is really, really awesome. And because you have the, uh, the, the coffin ship, you have so much HP to take uh, a hit from, so it's really, really good. And you don't actually need that much health when you're heading into the last room because you are going to deal lots of damage to all of the units that surround Mr. Seven and Miss Father's Day anyway, so you don't have to worry about that, and you do have Golden Pound, which does help out a lot. So, you can see here, uh, after, you know, all the turns of burst with Doflamingo and Mihawk, it's been really, really easy, and you just, you know, just take her down after you take the hit, which is really, really awesome. And when you actually head into the final room, you want to go ahead and use Golden Pound uh, to, you know, delay everyone. You want to actually use your Raid Boss Mihawk before you use your crocodile. Now the reason why we do that is because what Mihawk will do is Mihawk will cut them by 30%, then if you use your crocodile after that, uh, the 30% cut is going to be really, really good because it will enable you to take down the units uh, a little bit easier. I'm not too sure if you actually need to do it to take them out, but it does help in the long run, you know, with taking them out. Because it is in damage anyway, so it will still do a lot of damage to them, but if it, just, just in case, if it didn't take them out, uh, use Mihawk first, then use Crocodile. And then as you can see, we're just going to go ahead and use Golden Pound to delay them for three turns. And then we basically have like four turns to take him out. Uh, you do get silenced, your captain silenced for that first turn, which is a little bit annoying. So if you have sockets, you know, you don't have to worry about that. But overall, it is actually really, really simple with this team. You know, after, you know, you wait for the captain silence to wear off, you literally just do regular attacks until they actually die. So overall, that's how you beat, uh, you know, Mr. Seven and Miss Father's Day. It's a really, really simple Colosseum, actually. Uh, the units themselves, Mr. Seven and Miss Father's Day, are not really that great. Uh, you know, it's really not worth farming for. But if you really want to farm it, then you can. It's not worth it, in my opinion. But it is there if you guys ever want it. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. And if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.